my channel is about all things chronic illness so don't forget to like comment and subscribe good morning guys happy monday so i am heading to go get my mri of my thighs femur area um they have to do this before i have my um uh, my biopsy done muscle biopsy um the rheumatologist ordered this you know before i haven't even heard from the neurologist yet so i did leave them a voicemail i'm trying to get everything situated um, when i don't like i'm not driving all the time it almost feels weird um but yeah anyway so yeah i left a message for the neurologist on friday they did not call me back um hopefully they'll call me today so i can figure out when i can get in with them um i see the rheumatologist on friday to go over the results of the additional lab work that he ordered and this mri um and i'm you know thankful that he's able to like be proactive and let me know what i need to do and not to do and um i have not taken any of like my medical marijuana day stuff i'm in extreme pain uh but i haven't taken it because i remember him saying don't take any like steroids um which the medical marijuana is not a steroid but i don't want anything to affect this test because if there's inflammation showing um within my you know thigh femur area thigh area whatever i want it to show and not because he said that if you take it it will mess up the test on where the inflammation is exactly in your body um so yeah so i haven't taken anything today um but back on my instagram i took a week off has it been a week i took time off from instagram because i have i manage now four instagrams my Cheryl's Davy Living is back. Smiles Behind Lupus. I changed the name. I have the Lupus Smile Box Instagram page now. I have our nonprofits page and our family channel, A Life in Between. So it was kind of like getting to be a lot. Um, but I've prayed about a lot of things. And so I will be starting a blog that will be called Smiles Behind Lupus. Um, it will launch on august the 17th so i'm excited about that nervous but i know god's got me um never liked english in school and you know thank god for grammarly to correct me on punctuations and all of that jazz but i'm excited um i thought about launching it today but i'm still working behind the scenes trying to learn the website um so i can better make sure that everything is in place for you guys when you go on there so i'm trying to give myself grace um and if i have to move it from the 17th i will if i see where it's not going to happen then i would definitely move the date back to maybe september 1st but i'm excited it's just something about rebranding yourself and taking the time to use your platform for positivity and some something sustainable um, because I don't follow people that their pages, if it's about drama and you're always bashing this and that, like, I really will unfollow you, um, because I don't need that in my life. Like, I try to have positivity, you know, and give support to those in the chronic illness community. So, I'm excited about that, but I'll come back after, um, the appointment. 
y'all i'm done but i'm in so much pain the t the phone mount is on the floor and i can't even get it off the floor so i was just thinking it was going to be a 30 minute scam but it was 30 minutes per leg i only made it through one leg i, I they did my right leg first and I couldn't have a wedge pillow like when you when I have my back or my neck you can they put a wedge pillow under you know your knees and so I asked the guy um, could I uh, have something you know to put under like the small of my like the arch of my back which he gave me something before the scan and at first I was like oh, okay this is you know I think it'll work uh, but it didn't I, I literally was like how much longer it's hurting is hurting and every time I go there like it's hard for me to even go through the 30 minute scan on my neck and back but I couldn't I told him I said I'm sorry sir I can't finish the left leg and he's like oh well, if you need a break you know we can give you a couple and I was like no I'm done like I can't I was like if they don't have the data that they need from this right leg for this biopsy then they're not gonna get it because if you can't take stuff beforehand that could alter the test I just can't physically lay like that when my back's already screwed up he had to help me get to the other part so I could like put my clothes back on um because it was so hard to walk like and if I felt like it was an eternity for me to walk from MRI to the car like I almost <laughs> broke down because it's like so aggravating the pain that we have to deal with and the all these tests to be poked and prodded to find this diagnosis and that diagnosis it gets to be a lot on top of my scalp is flaring like everything is flaring it's probably a lot worse because of the track meet that I attended I'm just done I had so many things I was like well I can stop at this store when I you know get done and I can't do anything but pray that God allows me to make it home um because it hurts to push on the gas it hurts to push on the brakes at this point and yeah so I'm gonna go home and try to get my um medicine med medical marijuana in me this will be a blog post for sure so i'll try to come back a little later guys good morning guys happy the next day uh tuesday so i didn't get to come back on yesterday um after the whole mri fiasco it was definitely um, difficult and a struggle and a lot of frustration. So when I got home, I had lunch um, and then I took my medical marijuana stuff. Um, fell asleep, I want to say for probably about like an hour and a half, two hours. Woke up, still didn't. Uh, feel good like the itching has gotten like I don't I don't think I even said that but sometimes like when my scalp flares like my whole body will flare and like probably for the past week my like I've been like breaking out um and just itching so bad so that was like driving me bonkers I was super super moody um it was just very difficult. Today, I would say yesterday pain was like a 20. I would say today I'm probably at like a 13. Still in pain. I have not taken anything um, like my daily um, marijuana pill that I do that's high in CBD. So I have not done that. I need to. 
Um, got a couple appointments that we have to uh, attend. Well, my husband has to get fitted for a knee brace because he's having meniscus surgery next month, which we thought was going to be this month, but that didn't happen. Um, got a Sam's order to pick up. We did it online. And then we still have to go to Walmart and pick up uh, things that, you know, we don't get from Sam's. I've been having like a, I don't know, a week, week and a half where I've been having like chest discomfort, but I feel like it's breathing related. Um, so I'm going to call my pulmonologist shortly to see if I can get back in because I was supposed to be back to see them like a year ago. I don't even remember. Um, so I know I'm long overdue. And, um, I just need to get repeat PFTs because one thing I still notice, like if I take anything that makes me sleepy, my breathing is still affected. Um, and I feel like my lung capacity and strength is not better from when I was on oxygen. Um, so I'm, it's just a lot going on. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to pop on. I'm sitting in the office working on, about to work on the blog stuff, behind the scenes, uh, track stuff, life stuff, bills, like everything that has to be done. And I just need a break and I'm working on stuff that I'm on the board for of a different nonprofit. And I guess that will be a blog post is not, um, how do you not be overwhelmed? Um, but it's difficult. I'm writing it down cause I'll forget. Um, you just want to to be the normal you before sickness. And some people have been sick, you know, at birth or whatever, or, or all their adult life. It's like, I want to help people. I want to do things. And it frustrates me that I can't. Or I bit off more than I can chew. Like, it's just aggravating. So... That's where we're at, but I just wanted to give you guys an update. I'm going to sit in here. I'm going to give myself 30 minutes. I'm going to set a timer to see how much I can get done. And um, then I'll get up, take a shower, and then I'll just rest until it's time for us to leave at about, I want to say we're leaving at probably like 2 o'clock, 2.15, something like that. Because um, I'll need the strength. Um, for everything else that we have to get accomplished today. Be blessed, guys.